So welcome to another Safish OS podcast or Safish X, Safish OS on Xperia X podcast. And this time around, I want to answer some questions or basically answer the request for more games on Safish X. So we start some of my favorite games, uh, Android games that run very fine on uh, sub uh, on 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 uh, the Xperia X, just like Subway Surfer. You saw Asphalt Nitro running before on uh, my Yola tablet versus Xperia X um, comparison speed comparison. So I won't show you this again. Um, I will show you some easy casual games, just like Subway Surfer, for example, that run just fine. Oops, was running Asphalt Nitro before and. Seems like it crashed <laughs> when closing, not sure why. Um, so running Subway Surfer, as you can see here, loading times, of course, is Snapdragon 650. Loading times might be not the best. Of course, ads everywhere for free games, you know this, or points that you can, uh, or stuff that you should do, go to Facebook or something like this, or Twitter, or share things, uh, you know this kind of things that uh, these Android games keep asking you and keep cluttering the UI with and keep loading ads and stuff. Yeah, they want to earn some money as well, I can understand this, but I just like the easy games, the casual games where you're not asked to like, to subscribe with something like this. And by the way, did I mention that you can like and subscribe? my videos so as you can see here subway surfer running fine oh almost got me I was a little bit carefree there so as you can see here, runs pretty fine pretty smooth no problems at all a pretty nice game Oof. still alive how did I manage to do this? Ah, so now I got caught. As you can see, running pretty fine, pretty nice game. Uh, the next game is Temple Run, also a running game, the classic um, uh, of running games and uh, jumping games. And uh, as you can see, it runs pretty smooth as well. No problem at all with it. And yeah, hit play, run away from the monkeys, jump a little bit. Change direction, jump again. Of course, you have to collect the coins. It would be nice, but I'm lazy. I don't want to use the rotation sensor here, the gyroscope. And now I died, I guess. Yeah, I doubt. I died. Died it. <laughs> So, the next game is one of my favorite games, uh, especially in the casual gaming thingy stuff. It's called uh, Flip Diving. And basically you have to flip and dive. <laughs> so it's not... It's what the application name or the game name tells you. Some slight loading times. And you can, of course, you have to collect coins, just like in every casual game. And uh, now I lost. <laughs> ah! This, oh, 10 points at least. And as you can see, a pretty nice game. So you have to press and hold, as you can see with my thumb. And uh, don't do belly or back flaps. Sometimes there are treasures as well here, as you can see. You can hunt for them. Basically you have to collect the points and with the points you get new tricks, you get new locations and so on. And um, so pretty nice game as you can see. And if you're on uh, level 2 you can see that the target field in the water gets smaller so it's a little bit harder to make the tricks. Um, level 2 is still easy. Level 3 is I think the most difficult one especially from up above so now level around three as you can see here it's a little bit tricky to just land in the in those markings but as you can see I think I pretty much trained very well in this game ooh this might be this might be too far Ooh, did it. 
So round four is uh, hardcore. As you can see here, this is hardcore. And belly flop, so I've lost. But basically this is the game. I took a cradle, a crate in this case, so I can double up if I watch a, an ad. Um, a nice game as you can see here. Of course I can remove ads if I pay for the game. Uh, so those are the few Android games that I want to show you in this uh, demonstration. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, thanks for watching and have a nice time gaming on Sailfish X.